several Stanford professors have told me this. You, you know, you had all this wonderful creativity. You had this um, this ability to not care if you were failing, to say that, of course I can draw a picture. And you had those abilities when you were three years old. But then the entire system of work and school beat it out of you. And now Stanford, this very prestigious elite university, is going to give you back what you, you had at age three. The Knight Fellowships is all about inventing high quality journalism for the 21st century. We do this with a group of 20 or so outstanding journalists from around the world who have full run of the university, access to some of the best minds in Silicon Valley. During their year, they create something of value to other journalists, something they can be proud of, something that will be useful to lots of people. That's our ethos. We create things. This is a time of amazing opportunity in journalism. The internet is the new printing press, and it is that type of revolution that's happening now. And really, Stanford is the epicenter of that revolution. I think the Knight Fellowship really gave me the confidence to break out and do something new and dramatically different. Great ideas are only great ideas. Uh, what you have to do with them is just put them into practice and just do it. I love the fact that over and over and over here it, it, you learn that you have to try, you have to fail, you have to iterate, you have to try again. And um, I think that is going to change me forever. This program isn't anymore about going back to your same journalism job that you did. It's about launching a new direction. You know, the whole place is an incubator, uh, and it's a marvelous place with a lot of energy, um, a lot of new ideas coming out, a lot of people who have failed a hundred times, but that hundred and first time, they succeeded. And so you get a lot of support for ideas that may be a little over the edge, but maybe the next best thing. And so, whereas uh, other university environments that I've been in, there are different there are different professions or different expertise that are afforded kind of hero status. At Stanford, entrepreneurs are afforded hero status. Changing people, changing the world, changing organizations. The Knight Fellows get access to the kind of entrepreneurial, problem-solving, high-energy kind of thing, which is, which is characteristic of the GSB, but also characteristic of Stanford. I think innovation is, is crucial right now in journalism, especially when you work across many cultures and across many frontiers. Without innovation, without uh, software, without uh, ideas, uh, you can't really overcome the, the hurdles that are in, in your way right, right now. Stanford has uh, also its own religion. Uh, it's called design thinking. Design is not design drawing, it's design to co conceive uh, 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 an experience. There's never been this unique combination of skills and passions and interests. And so what ends up happening is students get passionate about subject matter, they get passionate about a solution, and they see there's a huge market opportunity. Journalists are really great at getting below the surface very quickly. And so I see folks from the business school, folks from the medical school, folks, folks from the law school, computer scientists, really leaning on Knight Fellows as the process leaders when it comes to actually engaging people well. The biggest thing was just being able to be away from the madness of the 24-7 news cycle. Um, and it makes you realize many things. Like I think I completely missed the social media revolution that was happening while I was in my newsroom. So for me, this whole year has been about, okay, so that's happening. How do we take that and make that a part of our daily reporting? Um, how do we bring all those different viewpoints into news now? It was actually a very powerful experience to spend a year with these 20 other fellows from very different parts of the journalism world. And it sort of gave me a, a faith in journalism and its, and its mission. People all over the world sharing their thoughts and their ideas uh, 
writing them down, but not even necessarily in the pages of notebooks, but you know, on web pages, on mobile screens, on in images, um, in data. And I think that's the part that makes me very optimistic about the future of journalism, this idea that we are all journalists. I always used to buy the journals with a lined paper. And from now on, because of Stanford, I'm going to go with blank pages and unlined paper because I think being here at Stanford has taught me how to be less rigid and more creative, more playful, and just open to possibilities. So um, blank paper, not lined. <laughs>